What's going on, UA students? Today, start your cork trading. So cheesy. <laughs> When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. <laughs> Yo, what's good, y'all? It's Clint B. Ackerman. Hey, today, we're gonna hit some chest and shoulders, all right? Some chest and some shoulders. They go hand in hand. A stronger shoulder press can be pushed into a stronger bench press. Will I be trying to go heavy today? I saw some smelling salts in my bag, so you're fucking right. I'm trying to hit some, some heavy weights today. I'm trying to hit some heavy weights on bench. I took a break off the of bench, I took a break off a of deadlift, took a break off squats. I always take a break off squats because the knees can, knees can be unforgiving. But my shoulders, all my other upper body joints are fine, lower back, glutes, and all that stuff, hips. Uh, so that's why I can deadlift and bench or I can squat. Uh, especially for all the athletic movements and then the dunking and stuff. It's a lot of pressure on the knees already and a different in a different way even though it's like you know functional mobility work uh, your knees still take a toll regardless. Your knees take a toll every day, every time you take a step, every time you jump. So it's kind of hard to continue to push squatting, especially with all the stuff that I do. And I'm not just like a powerlifter and bodybuilder or whatever where I'm, I feed her on the ground all day and I don't really do much uh, explosive uh, movement work even though power, some powerlifters do. But anyway, we'll be moving on to benching, starting out, as always, benching. Uh, there's no set scheme right now. I just kinda wanna see where I'm at. I took a, took a long break. I wanna see where I'm at right now. Uh, last time, I think I benched 450 for like an easy rep, rep or so. But now I wanna get that feeling back up to that 500, 520s, and uh, really put back on some weight. Maybe I'm getting 550, all right? So, you never know. And I definitely wanna get back to 800 on the deadlift as well. So. Let's get it. So, I'll warm up to a uh, heavy one rep. So, uh, five, four, three, two, one, 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 one. You know, it was weird some days. Some days I'll have like four or five endurance strength. And like, I won't have one rep max strength. Other days I'll have one rep max strength. But not like nine, ten rep, four, five strength. Sure. Smelling salts. Pick these up at the Iron Addicts Gym. How many y'all got left? Like eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Papa Zanny. Papa Molly, I'm sweating. Uh, no drugs. Don't take drugs, kids. I'm dead ass here. That's 500 on the bar right now. We're gonna go down to 315. What I'm gonna do is three sets of six, all right? So I feel like I have energy since I get the fail. I'm gonna do three sets of six, 315. And uh, that's gonna start the workout. This is honestly just for fun just to see where I'm at right now. But uh, we're gonna start the workout right now. Still some blood left on the dance floor. All right, next up, so again, my three sets of six, 315. We got three sets of 10, super set, 10 reps on the dips, 10 reps, uh, no, 10 reps on the dips, 20 reps on the uh, push ups. Right here, five sets, 20 reps, pec deck, 
pet deck, pet deck, pet pet line. So I'm gonna slide down on the bench a little bit. Bring my chest up. Open up right here. Get more of that deep line. Get a little more uplift to my chest.
Finishing off three sets, three or four sets, 12 reps. Incline, presses, lateral raises. Yeah.